I remember clearly. I had an uncle that managed a fishing lake. And I remember seeing people come in with their big trophy fish. And he had a few mounts in his store. And he had a taxidermy sticker on his weigh scale. And I always thought it would be so cool to get a fish mounted. And I remember one time paddling across the pond, you know, to the other side in the morning. And as soon as my worm hit the water, the line twitched back and I stuck that sucker, reeled it in, and I got that fish mounted. That was my very first fish, three and a half pound bass. I still have it to this very day. My name is Raymond Douglas and I'm the owner of King Sailfish Mounts. When we first started 25 years ago, nearly every fish mount produced was based on a dead fish, but the taxidermy industry wasn't using any part of the actual fish, and so hundreds of metric tons of game fish were being thrown into landfills. I just didn't think that was a good business model. Nowadays people choose because of conservation to release their fish alive and get replicas. Fish mounts aren't produced from pictures, they're produced from molds. A mold is originally created from a once live fish and is then used to create hundreds or even thousands of mounts thereafter. What we do is we authenticate the mount by making it look exactly like the picture of the person's fish. We get to hear the stories, we get to talk to the people that have caught these fish, but we also get to take pride in what we do ourselves, you know? What makes it really personal is the painting. I used to paint all the fish when we first started. We're really lucky to have a, a whole set of talented artists. For example, Jacques is our assembler. He's the one that puts the eyes in the fish and Jacques is the one that brings that life to the fish. And then we have Jackie, who is our uh, prep guy, who fills in all the imperfections and makes the fish absolutely perfect before it goes to the final painter. Another artist, Chris Murrah, who is just unbelievable. At nighttime, he'll go home and he'll study the fish he's gonna paint the next day. Kenny painted for J.T. Reese, which was one of the original taxidermists here in Fort Lauderdale many, many years ago. And he's probably painted more fish than anyone in the world. Well, what's really cool about the way we paint our fish is that we start with a silver base coat. You know, that's the very first layer that we put on the fish. And then on top of that base coat, we use a combination of transparent lacquers and pearls, pearl powders and iridescence, and the combination of those three gives a really 3D electric look to the fish. We may make a, a mold of a certain size fish and we may produce a thousand replicas of that same fish, but if you put them all together, you'll see that no two are alike. I think it's probably one of the coolest things I could have ever done. Every fish.